My bad. Good morning. It is Memorial Day, so it's a holiday and the roads were very clear, which I love. I firmly believe that if I'm driving, everybody else just needs to go home. So I was happy about that. So it is kind of cool today. I got up early. It is 65 degrees rather than 100 right now. So we're going to get Chester outside and Zora outside and then ride kite. starting to definitely get hotter so I had to say goodbye to my sweatshirt which was really sad. Before I put any tack on him I groom him really good brushing everywhere the saddle's gonna go getting all that dust off of him. You can see he was super dusty so I do really work on that here. is riding in our new designer breast collar. If you watched my last video, you've seen it and it looks so cute on him. And then in my boot bag, I grab out the designer bell boots so he can be matchy matchy. He is all tacked up and ready to go. So I'm gonna give him another spray down with some fly spray because he really, really hates the flies. He will be a drama queen about it. So I'm gonna spray him down again really good and then put on my helmet and we'll be ready to go ride. Actually, I lied, I sprayed him down, but I have to change into jeans and boots really quick. Okay, we are actually ready to go now. I'm gonna ride in with some long reins because I just want this to be a really chill ride. We're just gonna do some exercise, nothing too crazy. He's generally pretty easy to ride, so let's go. Before I get on, I tighten my cinch because I don't wanna be sliding off the side. And then I walk for a long time because he is 23, so I wanna make sure he is good and warmed up. Once I feel like I've walked enough, we will trot for a while and I do post the trot on him. So a long trot for a while. I think trotting is the best for building muscle. I really like it and he doesn't get any kind of crazy exercises. Next week, I think I will bust out the trot rails, which he loves. And here we're trotting along great, and then a cat and a squirrel come flying out of a tree and spook him. I walked him over to see the cat that was still going crazy just so he could know that it was not about to come out and attack him and everything was fine. Typically his workouts are pretty easy because he is older, so we will just walk, trot, and lope both directions. When I'm done working him, I pat him, I walk him out and hop off. The second I hit the ground, I start loosening his cinches and then I get him back at the trailer to untack.
We got his fly boots back on and re-sprayed him. So now we're gonna go get a fly mask on him and get him outside. Now that I've kite happy in the pasture, it is Chester's turn to ride today. He's also getting a pretty simple workout. So I get him tied to the trailer and start grooming him, making sure I brush everywhere that any tack goes. Once I am done grooming him, I get to throw on his tack and today he's going to be rocking the teal set which is just so cute and looks so, so good on him. My camera overheated so the rest of the videos until hopefully it cools down are going to be on my phone. He is all tacked up. I'm going to take his fly boots off pick his feet and then throw his boots on and we'll go ride and i'm going to ride him in the outdoor arena that you saw me ride kite in and i don't ride him out there a lot basically because it's been winter but he's also can be a little wilder out there but we gotta just bite the bullet and do it before i put on his boots i'm gonna pick all of his feet checking in there for any rocks or anything uncomfortable and just cleaning them out really good and then he gets to wear his matching teal boots for our workout today When I hop on, I walk him for a while again, making sure his legs are nice and warm. And then I do a sitting trot on him and we trot for a good while before I ask him to lope. And his lope did start off a little crazy, but I got him down. And honestly, this workout for it being outside was way better than I expected from him. So I was happy with that. When I am done with his workout, I walk him out, take him back to the trailer, get all of this tack off as fast as I possibly can. And I did actually put my saddle pad and breast collar on the hood of the truck to dry out in the sun because he did get really sweaty. And then I take him inside and start rinsing him off. And then I cold hose his legs because I did not bring my ice vibes. So I cold toes both front legs for 10 minutes each. And I think this is one of the best things you can do for your horse in terms of recovery and and inflammation do not underestimate the power of some cold water now that he is dry i am going to put his new fly mask back on so he can go outside walk around and graze and just kind of be a horse Zora was standing at the gate ready to come in so I brought him in. Chester's outside right now and I think I'm gonna leave Kite outside. Um, I'm about to leave so we can go eat and take a shower and do some work and then we'll come back tonight with some steamed hay and then I might see if I can get them all back out again. Um, the pastures might be full but we'll see. I'm hopeful here. I am home so we are going to start some hay steaming that takes about an hour so I'll steam it and leave it open for a while to cool down because I'm going to go back late where it's cooler the sun's kind of down my dog is freaking out we're about to go get him so let's go do that. put the alfalfa in the steamer okay you saw me and I came in to make myself lunch and sit down and get all the videos off the camera and everything and I've been sitting here for a while and I completely forgot that I put anything in the hay steamer and I did not set a timer so if my house blows up this is gonna be your last time seeing it but I just set a 20 minute timer I'm 
I'm gonna guess. Okay, we'll go down. We'll see if it's in the green. It probably will be. And hopefully nothing catches on fire. I did not blow up the whole house. I did good, I think. <laughs> So I'm going to let that cool and then I'll bag it right before we go to the barn tonight. So now to do a ton of editing. Okay, it is almost 7 p.m. and we're going back. If any of the pastures are open, I'm going to try and get Zora and Kite back out. And Cheshire always has his pasture. And then we will take them their steamed alfalfa. They're going to be so excited. Chester loves that stuff so much. And treat all their feet with Spurs Big Fix. Just kind of preventative for thrush or anything else that can grow in there. Very gross. But good to stay on top of it. Especially if you have horses that are prone to thrush. Because I do. I'm so lucky and I, I do. <laughs> Zoro and Chester are both out. We just got here. And we're going to see if there's a place for kite. There probably isn't, but we'll see. And then we'll get them their steamed alfalfa. And then... <laughs> there's not a place for kite, so I'm going to let Free run around. And then I will get their alfalfa. He is, he's got the zoomies a little bit. I ran out of fly spray and with summer here you desperately need fly spray so I switched to a new bottle and of course make sure it is screwed on good and not going to spill all over my trailer tack room. Kite can be very prone to thrush so I get him out, get him in a wash rack, pick all of his feet and spray Spurs Big Fix in all of them to prevent any sort of fungus or anything growing in there and it's just really good for their hoofs as well. Once he is back in his stall, it's time to get them their steamed alfalfa. Kite really loves it, and I love it for him because it makes it really easy to eat, and his teeth are pretty worn because he is older and a cribber. And so I throw him his, and then I fill up Chester's grazer, and of course I have to give Zorro some too for when he comes inside. <laughs> Okay, we're about to leave. Zoro and Chester are gonna stay out, so I'm gonna do their feet tomorrow instead of right now because I want them to have as much time out as possible. Kite's feet are done and everybody has their steamed alfalfa. So I'm gonna go home and shower and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I have a dentist appointment I totally didn't forget about. So we are gonna bag up some alfalfa and go to the barn right after that. It's already so hot, bruh. The body bag is secured. We are also restocking our succeed. <laughs> okay, we made it to the barn and I am going to treat Zorro and Chester's feet with the Spurs Big Fix and then get them outside. Got my bag. Let's go treat some feet. Once his feet are done, he gets to go outside and enjoy the sunshine and graze.
Now that Zoro is out, I go and get Kite out of his stall and I spray him with fly spray and then he gets to go out in the pasture to graze and stretch out. Then I walk right down the hall to Chester's stall so he can also be let outside. While everybody is happy outside and grazing, I bring in their sixth seed and then I bring in all the alfalfa. After they have been out for a long time, I give them all alfalfa in their stalls and start bringing them inside. This day is just a super chill, easy day because everybody gets off from riding. Well, Zoro is completely retired from an injury, but Kite and Chester get the day completely off. So once I have all my chores done, I go out and get them. And Zoro was very ready to come in. He trotted up to me, which was super, super cute. And once I have them all inside, my day is done. <music> morning it is 6 a.m and today we are going to go ride chester and do a little barrel drill on him because we are going to run this saturday so that's for me and a little bit for him but mostly mostly for me so i will meet you back at the barn the first thing i do when i get to the barn is get kite's fly mask on spray him with all the good fly spray and get him outside. Once I have Kite outside and he's visiting and grazing, I go and get Zoro ready to put him outside so they can go be outside. Today, once they are both outside, I go and get Chester to start grooming him because we are gonna ride him and do a little barrel drill on him today. Chester wasn't super dirty today, thankfully, so I just get to run the hard brush over him, just getting all that dust off and making sure everywhere the saddle goes is clean because I don't want anything rubbing anywhere. So I brushed his back, his um, where the girth goes, all of his feet, where the boots go, just making sure everything is good and clean before throwing on my tack. gets to wear his super cute new Pendleton breast collar from Hot Head Stalls and it literally looks so so good on him. Once I have the breast collar on I pick his feet and then he does wear boots on all four feet today just because I know we are going to be doing a barrel drill I want to make sure his feet are very very protected. Since I know I'm doing the barrel drill I just kind of warm him up like I would at a race. Very easy no big fights, not being too picky. And when I get him warmed up, I do our little barrel drill, which is all rights and all lefts, and it is so close together, and he chooses the speed, which of course is fast. It is a really awesome ab workout, honestly. Really teaches me to get my butt down. So it's really, really good for both of us. It's more physically hard for me. It is a awesome ab workout, like I said. So it just really helps us out a lot. The results are really, really good. Once I got off, I immediately hopped off with how hot it is. I didn't video me taking the tack off, but I spray him down really quick just to get all that sweat off of him. And then I ice vibe him. I ice vibe on the front feet and the back feet. And while he is vibing, he gets to eat his six seed, which is his favorite thing on the whole planet. Once I got him out, that ended my morning, but then I came back later that day, got Kite's fly gear all back on, got Kite outside, 
Zorro back outside, let Chester back outside while I did some chores. So when I got back, I noticed that their feed needed to be dumped because we had all the new feed delivered. So I dumped the feed in all of their barrels and I brought back some more alfalfa and I also cold hosed Chester's legs again, really just trying to reduce anything, any kind of inflammation and just really soothe his legs because he worked really hard for me today. He also had this little scrape so I sprayed some Spurs Big Fix on it to help heal it and keep all the flies off of it. Of course, while I was dumping feed, Chester was terrorizing me to try and give him a bite, and I think I did definitely cave, and he got a little handful just because he was being so demanding. And once the feed was done, I brought in the alfalfa. Of course, when Chester saw me by his fence, he had to come over and look me and my mom up and down for treats. And then once I had all of that done inside, Kite was begging to come in. So I did respect his wishes and went and grabbed him. If he's not enjoying his time outside, I don't know why I would make him stay out there. I think the flies were really bugging him. And you might recall when I turned him out, he had a fly mask on kite had gotten it off so i had to go walk around the pasture like an idiot to go find it and i finally did thankfully and it was still intact which is definitely a blessing zoro was having the time of his life out in the pasture for the second type today trotting around loping around running around just having a great time and this tiniest trailer ever drove by and he had to go hide in the bush so it really was not a threat to his safety but he thought he needed to hide after he had got all of his running done and all of his grazing done i went out and got him and put him up to finish out my night Good morning. It is 6.30 a.m. and today's going to be a pretty easy day. All we're going to do is ride Kite and of course Zoro and Chester are going to go outside and try to get them outside literally as much as I possibly can. So let's go to the bar. I really did not think Zoro was going to keep this fly mask on. We never really put one on him. He would always help get the other horse's fly masks off. He doesn't really love stuff. He might keep a blanket on if it's really cold, but he has been loving his fly mask and I'm so happy because the flies just really love him. I am really considering getting him all fly sheets just because of how bad the horse flies are here. But right now I am loving that Zoro is loving his fly mask. It's a little bit for him so it looks really cute on his little ears but he has been keeping it on so good and i'm so happy about that while he's outside it is time to get kite brushed up and saddled Oh my gosh, is this giraffe breast color not the cutest thing you have ever seen? I don't typically go for the animal prints. I know I have the white chain on, okay, but this one is literally so cute. He 
really hates the flies and honestly I don't blame him so I spray him one more time with fly spray, get on my helmet before putting on his bridle and getting on to ride. Today he's getting another pretty easy workout, just getting him moving, keeping him in decent shape at his old age. So I walk for a long time, the fluid in his joints warmed up, all of that before asking for a trot and then a lope. And everything you see, I did turn around and do the other direction. However, on this morning, my camera decided to overheat. So I don't have any footage of it, but I do swear I like to keep them equal. After this ride, I walked my dog and really that was the end of my day until I come back Friday to give Chester a nice bath before our barrel race Saturday. All the horses are outside grazing and we're gonna get Chester show ready for tomorrow. So we're gonna give him a bath, braid his tail, all of that. So let's go grab him. I don't bathe him with shampoo very often, but I knew it had been a minute since he had a bath, so I really spray his whole body. I want this to get all the sweat and dirt off of him, so I use Cowboy Magic Shampoo. Shampoo both sides of his body using this glove to really rub it in and give him a nice scratch. Once I have everything shampooed, I spray all the water off. I don't want to leave any shampoo on his body. Once his body is done, I move on to his tail. I shampoo the tail. Then condition the tail, letting that sit for a minute. And then I brush it out really, really good, especially because I am going to French braid. I don't want a single tangle to be in my way. So I brush for a really long time and then I French braid his tail. And then after that, he is drying off really good. I treat his feet just proactively with Spurs Big Fix. Then put his tail in a tail bag to protect it and keep it clean and turn it right back out so he can go graze. While Chester is outside, I put his tube of Succeed for the day into his corner feeder just as a nice surprise when he comes inside. And then they have all been out for a long time, so I run, grab Kite, bring Kite in, and then go grab Zorro. Thank you. 
we are taking the big trailer to the barrel race, the next day I put all of my tack into the truck to go ahead and switch it and I will meet you in my next vlog. Hey guys, thank you so much for spending this whole week hanging out with me. I had a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed this video. Be on the lookout for a barrel race vlog where I will continue. You'll see me stock the trailer with everything we need and go to the race with me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you again next week. Bye.